Hi guys, so I'm making this video because it's come to my attention that prison staff are still not being seen as key workers and I just want to get a bit of awareness out there of what it actually means to work in a prison. So to introduce myself, I worked in the prison locally for two years in public protection, which is an admin role. Um, so not on the front line, but I read some things that kept me up at night, put it that way. But my main thing here is really to get out what frontline staff do in the prison, because people clearly don't understand. And actually the reason why you don't understand is because they're doing their job inside those walls to protect you on the outside. So if you don't see them as key workers, then you're lucky that you have no idea what is going on behind those walls because they are putting themselves on the line all day every day to keep us out here safe. Now I say I worked in the prison, I don't anymore because my fiance was a prison officer in the same prison. He changed roles to an operational support grade officer um, a few weeks before he hung himself in one of the prison wings on a night shift. So if you think that what they do in there is not hard, you're wrong. And there are people suffering massively. So what is it that these frontline prison staff actually do? You know, they are police officers, firefighters, paramedics, security guards, counselors, punch bags, all in one. You know, they literally do all of these roles all behind those closed doors. All you see when you drive past is some big ass walls. But what actually goes on behind there is a mixture of all the emergency services in one. And they're not paid that well for what they do. And it's difficult. You know, the, what actually happens behind there can't really be talked about because of the Secrets Act. So even if you're married to a prison officer, you might not realise what's going on. Not really. When I first joined the prison service, I was with someone else who is a prison officer. And I thought I knew what he was going through until I started there six months later. And I had no idea, no idea what was happening behind those walls. We are protected as public. And thank the Lord that we are, because there are some really nasty people in prison. You know, it's there for a reason. And I think it's really sad that society doesn't see prison staff as important as NHS or police or, you know, anyone else that is considered a key worker right now. Sainsbury's aren't even considering them to be key workers. That, I can't put into words what it does to a prison staff member's state of mind when they are constantly forgotten. They just don't exist in the system. And, you know, I lost a really important person to me because of what the prison service did to him. And that's, that's nobody's fault. That's just the, you know, that's the environment that they work in. But did you even know that in 2010, 11 prison officers in England and Wales alone killed themselves? And, you know, every year there's at least two to 10 every year, just in the, just in England and Wales, not even the whole of the UK. But we don't talk about it in the media. You know, it's unheard of, but it's happening. And it's going to keep happening. But something that really makes a difference is being recognised. People need that pat on the back. You know, they're doing a really, really good job and they are feeling forgotten. They are literally known as the forgotten service. That's how everyone in the prison talks about themselves. They're just forgotten. This job changes people. You know, those walls tell stories that those people have to keep in their head or maybe talk to their colleagues about, but they can't go home and tell their wives. Not really. Even if they did, their wives won't understand. You know, your partners back home don't understand unless they work there themselves or, you know, it. you really are trapped in what you take home from that. So what can you do to make a difference, really? You know, it's stupid little things like, don't call them prison guards, call them prison officers. They are officers. Don't tell people that aren't officers that they're not real prison staff. You know, don't do that. <laughs> and don't ever think that 
People choose to do that, so therefore they shouldn't get recognition. So do nurses, so do the army, so does everyone. We all choose what we do in life to a degree. But that doesn't mean that we don't deserve a pat on the back when we do it. And maybe just little things, like rather than saying, oh, I couldn't do your job, meant with absolutely no harm, but slightly dismissive. Why not say thank you for protecting us? Thank you for what you do on the inside to protect us on the outside. Just appreciate those people because they matter and they're working really hard to protect us out here. I just want to read a little passage that my other half, who I lost, he started writing a book about his experience in the prison and I didn't find it until after he died. But a little bit from it kind of sums up what was happening for him. So he said, personally, I have suffered from mental health issues caused by the prison service and it led me down a path in which I attempted suicide on multiple occasions. This was due to the stresses of everyday life and the changes in my personality and mental state. I came to a point where I couldn't be in crowded places. Loud noises made me both panic and give me an adrenaline rush. I was unable to maintain a happy, healthy relationship with a partner and I saw no way out. I became a shell of the person I was. It became a daily struggle just to think straight. I was suspicious of everyone I met and making friends became nearly impossible. I was alone and miserable, surrounded by mentally ill people and self-harm. It became almost acceptable in my head that self-harm was a normal way of coping with the stresses of life. This is a man who hung himself on the 16th of December 2019 because he couldn't handle working for the prison service any longer. That is not a weakness. It's not a weakness. It's a really sad, tragic loss because someone wasn't heard. So all I ask of you is that you recognise them, please. They work really, really hard. When you're doing your clap for the key workers this week, just spare a second, just spare one clap for the people behind those walls. Just remember how lucky you are that you have no idea what goes behind there. Thank you for listening to me.